1057 The Hawkins Classic Rock for the Jersey Shore and Seaside on Tap. It is coming our way Thursday, August 7th. Seaside Park is going to be from 7 to 10. Tickets are on sale now at 1057thehawk.com. $30 a ticket advance, $40 the day of. So uh, you want to join us. It's going to be a great night under stars on the beach. Over 100 different breweries on hand uh, for you to sample. Just going to be a great event. And uh, one of the perks of my job, besides just the food, we get to sample beer. And I love beer. You love beer. We all love beer. I'm with Josh. Yeah, delicious. Josh loves beer. I do love beer. It is what I do. How are we doing? Thank you very much for coming today. Of course. Absolutely. Anytime. Uh, he's from uh, Elysian Beer and also 21st Amendment as well. Yes. And uh, they can be part of Seaside on Tap. And he's brought us some awesome beers. And uh, I, I believe most of these will be on tap at Seaside on Tap. Uh, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, definitely. This Tuber Fuzz and the uh, Watermelon Weed are definitely going to be there. We're talking about uh, another 21st Amendment and another Allegiance, so at least the uh, two of each. Um, obviously, uh, we're just going to be able to sample mm -hmm. uh, these amazing beers. And I'm just looking at, at some of the labels. The labels are cool. Uh, Hell or High Watermelon. Um, we got like a, a Blood Orange beer as well. So, yeah. you're, you know, you're the expert here. Where do we start? Where do we begin? Let's describe the beers and, and what, yeah. what do people have to look forward to? Absolutely. So uh, we'll start with the Super Fuzz. Super Fuzz is a blood orange pale ale. Uh, what that's going to do is it's just going to kind of open up your palate as well. It's not going to kind of crush it. It's not going to give you the super hops that you're, you know, you're not going to be able to taste anything else. It's just going to kind of give you that nice mellow, ease into a nice beer. Uh, summertime, summertime seasonal, so you definitely have, you know, all of those light, refreshing, crisp flavors. That's a little like Jimi Hendrix right there. On yeah, the it's, uh, little, it's little Jimmy there. Nice uh, orange, or, orange wig and an aviator glasses, so you definitely have uh, some of that funk with it. Cheers, so, my friend. Cheers. Sir. I was listening, by the way, uh, talking about some of the beers before, and he's like, every beer has its own little, uh, I guess, uh, it's good for something. Like, this Absolutely. is good for mowing the lawn. Yes. This beer is good for, uh, you know, if you go into a funeral. This beer is good <laughs> for having a, the third uh, birthday party of your little nephew. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, every beer has a purpose. You know, mm. everything's brewed with a purpose. Yeah, that's a delicious beer. Right delicious. <laughs> so this is exploding with summertime right here. Exactly. That's exactly what I was shooting for. The blood orange, the light summer flavors. Uh, now, every beer has a purpose. Uh, obviously, that's brewed for summer. There's no doubt about it. Uh, Loser Pale Ale which is a core brand year-round, you'll see that all the time. So that's brewed actually for the 20th anniversary of Sub Pop Records out in Seattle. So once again, everything has a story, everything has a reason behind it. This is just a year-round beer that we can just drink all the time. It's 6% pale ale, nice, hot, crisp, easy drinking, nice you know, appetizer beer. What, what's a good percentage? If somebody's looking for like a strong beer, what would you say is a strong percentage? Well, you know, personally, I like to stick below six, six. between five and six and a half is my kind of wheelhouse. Uh, there's a big movement on session beers right now. Those that are under five percent, which is great for the beach, great for the the shore time. We want to have a, a few beers and still be able to operate at a high high level. Unfortunately, we're not really allowed to drink beer on the beaches <laughs> here in New Jersey. Well, so uh, at the beach, yeah, yeah exactly. not at the on pool. the beach, yeah. on the pool. There mm -hmm. you go, at the pool. Uh, so basically, what you know, what, what we're advocating with the session beers is that you can have more than just one, and you can have you know a few and still operate at a high level, be able to cook dinner and not pass out on the couch. And there's nothing wrong with that either, though. But no, if you want, sure. to, why not? Here, absolutely, you know. no, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. The loser was very good. Had a lot, a lot of great flavor. Nothing too yeah. strong. It wasn't too no. bitter. No, very, very easy drinking. Very approachable. Nice, easy beer. You know, I brought a lot of things that are summertime brews. Things that are just really, really gearing up to be able to drink and enjoy yourself. Uh, you know, summertime at 21st Amendment, Hello High Water Melon Wheat, you can't really beat this as a summertime brew. So you look, this is one of those lighter, lighter beers that you can have a few of. So you're looking at right under four, five percent. By the way, so, you can see all this. I'm sorry to interrupt you. You can see all this at 1057thehawk.com. We're uh, actually doing video, so this will be up on yeah. the website as well. So you can see what all these cool beers look like and just uh, uh, check out Josh. The label art. You can't, exactly. you can't beat the label art on these guys. Um, 21st Amendment wins awards for their label art every single year. The cans are just fantastic. Yeah, it's a little different. Wow, right? <laughs> that's so, that's water. Like it, it, like you drink this and you just you, you think, think there's like seeds in there from the watermelon. Yeah, but it's not. It's delicious. So that's a, a you know basically a five percent wheat beer base that has fresh pressed watermelons added to it, and then the yeast eats up all the sugars, and you're left with all that watermelon flavor, but not much of the sugar. So it's not very sweet. It's not like a Jolly Rancher. It's just a very nice you know quench the thirst quenching quaffable drink. Uh, something you can drink a few of, and like I said, enjoy yourself and, and be out in the sun. And, you know, that's my lawnmower beer, as we were talking before. Every beer has a purpose. It's my lawnmower outside, deck beer, Just don't cut your beer. toes off, please. No, no. I, uh, 
I ride. It's fine. <laughs> now, actually, I I, move, I live in Philly now, so I have no yard. I have some concrete concrete sections now. So there you go. Uh, we, we're talking with Josh once again from uh, Elysian Brewery in 21st Amendment. He said on tap Thursday, August 7th. We got one more here we're going to sample. And what do yeah. we got here, Josh? So we're going to do Back in Black. It's a black IPA, uh, hoppy black ale, or we're talking... ACDC, yeah. baby! Basically, you know, if you look, it's, but, you know, I don't know if you really paid attention to some of the labels. So you have the Statue of Liberty next to the bridge. That's Paul Revere on a hog. Can't really beat that. Um, yeah, so Brew for Your Die is Mount Rushmore with the Presidents. Abe Lincoln is kind of kicking some butt on the label. Uh, they're, they're, the label is just great. And they, you know, they really are rich in American history, and you can't beat this beer. I would love to see the, the brainstorming sessions sit in there and coming up with the labels and the designs and all that. It's got to be wild. Sometimes I think they have a few of these before they start that process. Uh, but this is a little bit bigger. So this is a 6.8% beer. Um, yeah, a little bit more higher in the alcohol content. You know, I like to call it a hoppy porter or a hoppy black ale. Uh, so you're going to have all those bitter notes, but it's got the chocolate, the, you know, the roasty toastiness that, that I enjoy year round. Uh, you know, some people get scared of the dark beer. I like it. It's black. It's big. It's, it's enjoyable. It's something you can really sit back and drink. There you yeah. go. We're going to try this one. This is the Back in Black Hoppy Porter. This used to be my old uh, screen name on AOL, by the way. Hoppy Porter. <laughs> Hoppy Porter. There you go. Cheers. 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 Yeah. Cheers, my friend. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. I'm, uh, I'm excited to be here, guys. It's going to be a great event, you know, August 7th. That's right, Thursday, August 7th. Be there. Get your tickets now, 1057thehawk.com. CSET on tap. I'm going to keep drinking. You go listen to some music. It's 1057 No Hawk.